Hi, I'm Mark Franco, and this is Word of the Week with Snap Language. Abject. Abject. Abject is a bit of a negative word. People use it with words like poverty or cowardice. Many people worldwide still live in abject poverty, utterly hopeless, abject misery. To say something was a failure is bad enough. You can qualify it with abject and highlight how bad, how severe it really was. My trying to learn Japanese comes to mind. My attempts at learning Japanese resulted in abject failure, extreme abject. Have you seen YouTubers get into some kind of online scandal? Then they post an apology video. Oh, that's nice. How big of them? Oh, they end up being abject apologies. Uh oh, I see. It's a humble apology, but it's meant to gain favor. An abject apology can be worse than no apology at all. It's like watching a politician's abject flattery of a president. It makes them look weak. Flattery is usually a way to gain favor. On the receiving end, flattery can make you feel good about yourself. But when people use it as a way to curry favor with you, you know, abject flattery. Ugh, that's never good, and it almost always backfires on you big time. Abject poverty. Abject misery. An abject apology. Abject flattery. Abject, abject. When you're in an abject state, people often notice it because you end up looking wretched, wretched, in a very unfortunate condition. Being in a wretched condition or situation is bad enough, but it also evokes pity. When someone's in poor health, you feel for them. When you say someone lives in a wretched state of health, ooh, you're underscoring how pitiable the situation is. After wars, countries are often left in wretched conditions. Yeah, it's never good. Very sad, actually. Wretched can also express outrage. You and your abject apologies. What a wretched thing to say. My apology was sincere. What a wretched thing to do. Why did you think abject flattery would make me feel better? <laughs> okay, guys, calm down. Sometimes people use wretched without even knowing exactly what it means. That's when wretched simply intensifies a negative feeling towards something. We hear people saying, "I'm tired of wearing these wretched face masks everywhere." Oh, it's just a piece of cloth, you wretched fool. These are such hard words. Wretched just shows your outrage or distaste for something. Wretched, abject, abject. See the "ject" part of abject. It's an awful lot like injection or interjection, isn't it? Well, they share a common root word, "ject." That's a Latin root word for to throw or propel, like a jet. You have French "jeter," throw, cast. You have a jet of water, an aircraft propelled by a jet of air pushing it forward. It's a jet. How about an interjection? You know, like "Hey, ouch, stop." What do interjections have to do with jets of water or jet planes? Inter has a sense of between. You interact with someone. You. Interact, act between two things, or act back and forth on each other. Interjection, throwing an idea out there between other ideas, as in interrupting the flow of ideas. Interrupt, intervene, interject. Like when you say in Pompeii, people were going about their daily lives when, boom, the volcano erupted. Boom is an interjection. You just throw it in there between your thoughts. 
Words seem to have a life of their own. They may start out meaning something, people start using it, changing its meaning, until, voila, the word has evolved. It means something else now. From interjection, we came up with a new word to interject. Why not? In between some ideas, you introduce a related idea. You interject. You kind of interrupt the main idea and interject something related. You inject it into the conversation. Oh, if I may interject an announcement here. Did you know you can join the Snap Language channel, become part of our learning space, and get some perks? For a small contribution, you get more direct access to an experienced educator with a PhD and an expert in language and linguistics. You get a badge by your name so you get noticed as a member. There's members-only information and discussions with me in the community tab, and you can even get some extra materials and some fun stuff. Hey, for less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get perks and show your support for the channel. Click the join button and check it out. I hope to see you around in the Snap Language community. Wretched. Abject. Abject. Interject. How about an object? That can't have anything to do with throwing or propelling, can it? Ob, in front of, or up against something. Something that's thrown in front of you is an object. To object is definitely about throwing something in front of you, right? Throwing something up against you. I object to your proposal. Well, yes, I'm throwing a wrench into your proposal. I'm throwing a reason or opposition up against your proposal. I object to it. I object to your insinuation. That's interesting, isn't it? We think of an object as just a thing, but it comes from the idea of something thrown in front of you. It's an obstacle. That's why we say money is no object. You're essentially saying that money is not something that gets in the way. It's not an obstacle. It's no object. Spend as much money as you need. This morning I realized I haven't left the house in a few days. I work from home so I don't have to interact with people all the time. I looked at myself in the mirror and said out loud, Oh my, what's going on here? It wasn't really a question, it was an interjection. I looked wretched. I hadn't shaved in a few days and I was wearing some wretched old clothes. Money is tight, but I'm not living in abject poverty or anything. I don't object to being casual, especially at home. Besides, appearances are subjective, but objectively, I needed some grooming. Ha, now that I'm all shaved, I don't look wretched anymore. I no longer look like a reject from last week's bake sale. Okay, I didn't look as bad as that cupcake. I object to that comparison. Well, actually, I did look kind of like that. Thank you. Thank you.